Welcome back to Eagle Classics. Bridgewater Women's Lacrosse got off to a great start in 2018, upsetting Christopher Newport in overtime and earning a national ranking from U.S. Lacrosse Magazine after a 5-0 start that included a shutout streak that lasted over 160 minutes. The Eagles were also looking for a strong early showing in ODAC play as they hosted 10-time league champion Roanoke in their third conference game of the season, having not beaten the Maroons in 33 years. And in goal today for your Eagles, number 30, freshman Michaela Brooks, as we are moments away from the start of this one, and the first whistle goes as the ball is batted up in the air and possessed by the Maroons. 2018 was the first year I was a head coach at Bridgewater, and I couldn't have asked for a better start um, for my coaching career here. The team put everything they had in the season. We started with a overtime win against Christopher Newport, which was a program first. Um, we were going goal for goal throughout the whole game, and in overtime, Anna O'Hara scored that last goal, and we took home the W, and I know that that kind of changed the team's mindset for what we were going to be able to accomplish in 2018. Start here against the Maroons and pick up their second ODAC win of the year. Stark has the ball now. Watch closely as she tries to find a cutting O'Hara, and it is intercepted by the Maroons. Trying to clear their own half as a pass is deflected by Kristen Stark in the middle and picked up by DeFulvio for the Eagles as she brings it now into the Maroons' defensive half. Looking to get the first shot off on the day. Michaela Brooks leads the Eagles in goal with a 57.7 save percentage. Dwyer Neal, Dwyer Neal with the ball now sends it over to Kristen Stark on the near side and to O'Sullivan behind. We'll flip to Stark and back up top to Yashinsky. She tries to find space. First shot saved. But there's going to be an infraction, and this will be a free position attempt for the Eagles here as Yashinsky lines up to take it. Yashinsky is 4 of 7 on the year in these scenarios. Uh, she'll be looking to get off a good shot here and put the Eagles on the board as the score is 0-0 early in the first half of this one at Jobson Field. Shots fired low and wide. And Rodgers will take it out behind the Maroons' net. Stark has it behind. Moving in towards the goal. A quick slip in move and goal for Bridgewater to make it 1-0. Good move there by Kristen Stark as she increases her points total to 42 on the year. That's her 23rd goal of the season. And Bridgewater leads this one 1-0 here against the Roanoke College Maroons. Early, just over two minutes played here, 27-52. And Maroons pick up the ball. Moving into the Bridgewater half. Trying to answer here down one early. Patient here now are the Maroons moving it around. Trying to find space for a shot. It's back up top to Reeve. She'll run at Stark, who has good body position there and keeps her in front. Over to the far side, and now back behind the goal. Back up top to Reeve. And going to get an infraction here. Kristen Stark will restart the ball for the Eagles in their defensive half. Aaron pass there rolls out of bounds. The Maroons will take up possession on the far side. Down one early here, trying to answer. 
Not a lot of luck in the ODAC so far for the Maroons as they're 1-3 and three up to this point. Polak has it behind the goal for the Maroons. Now circling in front. Sends it over to Reeve, who breaks free, tries to find a shot, and the ball's poked loose. And a foul is going to give Ali Reeve for the Maroons a free position attempt here. As she will try to beat Brooks in goal to tie the game up. In close, shot down into the net for the Maroons' goal. That'll tie it up here at Jobson Field 1-1 in the early moments of this one. 26.09 on the clock at the time of the goal. That one scored by number 18, Ali Reeve. As just under 20 to play here in the first half. Your hometown Eagles lead this one 2-1. Stark has the ball now for the Eagles, who are looking to increase the lead. Stark makes a move. Good pass to a cutting O'Hara. She spins, and shot is blocked by the defense of the Maroons. Stark goes back in now. Tight angle for her as she flips a pass, and it's in the goal from O'Sullivan. Good touch pass from Stark, and that's going to make this one 3-1. Eagles lead it here with just under 20 left in the first half. Um, Roanoke was a huge win for us. It was the first time in 33 years that Bridgewater beat Roanoke. Um, it was a really exciting game. The team was prepared. They were ready to go. They had that mindset of we are going to go out and we're going to play our best and we're going to play for each other and we're going to dominate this game. So that was essentially the mindset that we kept from the CMU game at the beginning of the season all the way through into ODAC play. And a Polak for the Maroons looking to trim this two goal lead. Back up top to Armstrong and over to Clements. Sends it to the far side. As the Maroons complete the circle of the net, Polak now looking to make a move, make something happen. As a good pass inside and a save from Brooks. Who chases that one out and available for the pass is Brooks running back behind her own net. Now far out of the goal. Dangerous. And an infraction is going to restart the ball here. It is Kukzo with the ball. Now Armstrong with the lone goal for the Maroons on the day as they trail this one by two goals here, 3-1 in the first half. About halfway through, Polak with the ball. Score is 3-1. Neither team has really showed a whole lot of dominance up to this point. As Clements spins in and unable to find a shot or a pass. Armstrong up top with it. And she breaks in, uses her speed. Shot fired into the top corner goal for the Maroons. Good play there by Armstrong, and that's her second of the day. Armstrong, the freshman out of Wilton, Connecticut. Ball is on the ground, and an infraction is going to give it back to the Maroons. As it's passed in, Roanoke now looking to tie this one up, trailing by one here, halfway through the first. Armstrong with it, sends it over to the far side. Roanoke now near on the near side with Lewis, back up top to Armstrong. Creating some offense of her own here as she has the only two goals for the Maroons up to this point. Schweckheimer trying to make a move now. Polak with it. Sends it back up top to Clements. 
Clements, and they'll exchange positions. It's Armstrong. Good pass back to Clements. Shot fired. Doesn't get to the net. Blocked in front by the Eagles defense. And the ball is loose and scooped up. And pass over to Kristen Stark, who now controls it. Good pass there to Neal. And the Eagles have numbers here coming in on goal. It's Neal. Good pass inside to Rogers off the post. And back out for the Eagles. Scooped back up by Stark as she will get fouled. As we restart play here as the clock continues to tick, just about 10 minutes left here in the first half of play. Eagles lead it 3-2, trying to make it 4-2 here with the attack. Yashinsky has the ball up top as she runs in, fires a shot down into the top of the net, but a whistle. Whistle coming before that. And waiting on the call from the referee here. No kind of advantage to be played. The referee's still discussing this one. Yashinsky was fouled, but she also fired a ball into the ground and into the top corner, but it's called back as the whistle came before the shot. 3-2. <coughs> it's going to be a free position attempt for Yashinsky as she runs in and fires that one wide. An unfortunate series of events there for the Eagles as that goal will not count. And the lead remains only one here for Bridgewater as Abby Houts runs in. Shimmy shakes and passes back out to the outside. Dwyer Neal runs in and scores with two defenders draped all over her. That's a great goal from Neal. And the Eagles will lead this one 4-2 now. Justice served after having the goal called back. as that one is popped loose and picked up by Sullivan. Eagles now looking to add another and really start to put some distance between them and the visiting Roanoke College Maroons. As a two, three goal lead is quite a different image than a two goal lead is Houts in and spins, sends the ball back up to the top with Rogers. Fakes a shot, watched closely, good defense there from the Maroons, but the Bridgewater being patient here as Stark will run in, looking for a pass or a shot. Now and just over the head of O'Hara, but the Eagles retain possession as it's scooped up by Yashinsky, sent over to Houts, who has it now. Back up top to Stark. We'll look to make something happen here. Stark with a goal already on the day. That one's fired wide. And picked back up by Houts, who hesitates and tosses it back up top to Yashinsky. The ball's with Kristen Stark on the near side. Now with Rogers behind the net. Still Rogers with it. Relaxing back up top as the Eagles circle the net again to Fulvio now. She'll try and move. Pass over the head of Stark, who is cutting towards goal. And that one will be picked up by the visiting Maroons behind their own net. They trail this one by two goals. Here with about eight left in the first half. Ball with Shoutel in goal for the Maroons. Trying to advance and clear their own half. Find someone trying to find someone coming back towards the goal. And the Eagles making it tough on them as finally finds freshman Armstrong with the only two goals for the Maroons on the day. And she'll use her speed to get it all the way across midfield and into the attacking half. We're going to get an offsides call here as play will be restarted now. Maroons have it, trying to cut into the two-goal lead established here by the Eagles in the first half. They lead this one 4-2 under the lights here at Jobson Field. Clements with it now over to the far side. Back behind to Polak. Watch closely. And 
it appears that she Polak was fouled and she'll get this one restarted sent over to Lewis and back up top to the far side for the Maroons circling the Eagles net Bridgewater doing a good job so far of defending in tight spaces here as Stark moved by Armstrong shot fired in for the goal Stark there just beat by the speed and a good move of Armstrong and the Maroons answer again pretty even game up to this point O'Sullivan controls it now moving in quickly to the attacking half trying to find a goal give them some insurance and put some distance between themselves and the visiting Maroons O'Hara with it here on the near side over to O'Sullivan and back behind to Rogers who almost found the net earlier off the post Houts rounds it and a shot low just wide of the goal but picked up by Rogers who's watched in close from the Roanoke defense With it is Yashinsky up top, waiting for the set of the Eagles, who do such a good job at getting cutters free, headed towards net, resulting in easier goals than having to work for it, as it's now O'Hara with it, using her height there, trying to find a pass over to Yashinsky now back up top. As a round of cutters come out of the mix on the left side, no one breaking free. Roanoke doing a good job here of keeping track of the cutters from the Eagles. Almost playing a zonal defense there on the left side as Yashinsky holds it now and action will shift to the far side. Houts running in with it. And she's going to get called for an offensive foul there. As she hesitated and used the shoulder. Balls with Shoutle in net for the Maroons. As they trail this one by one goal here. With just under five to play in the first half. 4-3 is the score. Your hometown Eagles lead it. Maroons looking to tie it up here as they spring into attack now in the Eagles half quick move it's the Maroons with it here on the near side now it's Decker who's watched closely by Yashinsky Armstrong over to Clements and to the far side back to Polak behind the goal Polak with 26 goals on the year has been relatively quiet up to this point. 41 points total leading the Maroons. Eagles done a good job of limiting her as Schweckheimer is sandwiched between two defenders and a foul will give her a straight on free position attempt here. <clears throat> Schweckheimer only 3 of 10 on the year from these sorts of scenarios as she lines up to take this one trying to tie it up here for the Maroons down by one goal as she runs in fires it bounces and into the goal beating Brooks in net that one will knock this one up at 4 pretty even game here between Roanoke and the Bridgewater as the draw is controlled by Anna Sullivan by O'Sullivan for the Eagles now looking to retake the lead it's with Welsh who sends it to O'Hara up top to Yashinsky over to O'Sullivan Series of short passes finds Dwyer Neal on the far side. Now Stark with it behind the goal. Stark with a goal already. 
and an assist on the day. Neal trying to use her speed to get around the edge, fakes a shot, hesitating, and that ball's knocked loose, but not before a foul has occurred. And Neal now with the free position attempt from the edge of the arc. Neal here looking to give the Eagles the lead back. This one tied up 4-4. Neal 5 of 16 from these scenarios on the year. And she starts in and fires down into the goal just under the leg of Shoutle. And the Eagles retake the lead here. 5-4 now the score. Much like she has all day, and excuse me, that's actually Neal's second goal of the day. As uh, she beat two defenders earlier to find her first, giving her the outright goals lead to, with 32 on the year, and bringing her points total up to 38. Eagles lead this one 6 5, excuse me, 5 4, here with 2.30 left on the clock. And now the Maroons will look to answer, which they've done a good job of up to this point down by two goals at one point 4-2 come back to tie it as that one's inside to Armstrong who fakes a shot pass behind to Polak Polak with it now trying to make something happen moves back inside watched closely by Stang back up top to Clements Clements with 35 points on the year herself And in fraction here, foul is going to reward the visiting Maroons with a free position throw. Free position attempt here. Can't quite see the number of the player ready to take this one. As she runs in, shot is fired off the crossbar. Look, looked like that one got deflected, and Eagles fortunate there. Now, as they move into the attacking half, it's Dwyer Neal running. After a foul, and a yellow card shown. That yellow card shown to number 19 for Roanoke. Ellie Armstrong, good news for the Eagles as Armstrong coming out of the game. Armstrong already scored three of the four Rono goals today. We'll give the Eagles a break from having to worry about that attacking threat as Neal gets the play restarted here on the far side. Now the Eagles will be looking to add to this lead here in an attempt to distance themselves, put a little bit of space, make it a little, a little bit more comfortable for them here as they are only up by one with a minute and a half to go here. It's Stark wheeling in, spinning shot, fired into the goal from Stark. Good goal there. And Bridgewater will now lead it 6-4 with two goals, actually 44 on the, on the year with two goals and an assist already to this point. We'll head back to the center circle. About a minute left to play here at Jobson Field. Your hometown Eagles lead this one by two, 6-4 in this important conference matchup. Loose ball is controlled by Clements and flipped over to Decker who's running in. Maroons have numbers. Pass in close inside, shot fired, goal. Quick answer there from the Maroons. As it's Decker and O'Hara for the draw. Bounce loose and controlled by Decker for the Maroons. That one's flipped over, a ground ball now scooped up by Kugzo. She'll run in, fakes a shot wide, back behind to Polak, and to the near side with Armstrong coming back from that yellow card. Clements fakes it in and then fakes out. Thought she was going to have a shot there and she decides against it. One goal lead here. 30 seconds left on the clock. An errant pass there. This one's scooped up by Armstrong. 
And an offsides there. It's going to give your hometown Eagles the ball here with 15 left, 15 seconds left in this first half of play. Eagles leading this one by one. Pass is thrown up to O'Hara through the midfield. Trying to advance it now into the attacking half. Finds Neal running in. A couple fakes. Muscles and shot fired over top of the goal. And there is the horn. That'll do it for the Eagles from the opening draw here. And that one is flipped backwards and picked up by Kayla O'Sullivan for the Eagles as she runs it into the Roanoke half. It's with O'Hara. Eagles looking to get something going early here and make this game more comfortable, a little less stressful with a bigger lead as Neal has it behind the net of the Maroons. Yashinsky now back up top to Stark, already with two goals on the day. Watch closely and fires back behind now to Neal in line with the net back up top to O'Hara she'll run in looking for some space trying to use that height there to find room for a shot now it's to DeFulvio who spins in fires it back behind the net to Neal Neal with the ball watch closely two goals on the day for Neal she runs in fires a shot and it's in there for her third of the day goal Bridgewater that's going to stretch the lead to 7-5 to five here. Good early offense from the Eagles. That one's action back here after the goal from Dwyer Neal, which stretches the lead now to 2. Bridgewater leads it 7-5. to five. Draw is controlled as the Eagles move into the half. Looking for more after the early goal. Puts them up by 2. It's DeFulvio behind the net with it. Shinsky has it up top. Now it's back behind to Stark. Stark now to Neal. She'll look to create something else. Using her speed again to get around the edge. And another goal from Dwyer Neal. That one identical to the last one. Another goal for Dwyer Neal. And the Bridgewater Eagles lead this one now 8-5. Twice, twice in a row now she used that exact move and finds the corner. We were up by one goal um, entering into the second half, and we came out really strong. Dwyer Neal scored two goals in a row um, from crease rolls. We had Kristen Stark down on the attacking end. Um, she scored four, and we had Anna O'Hara scoring three goals total um, and reaching her 100th goal in that game. Stark, and she's pushed out by Lewis. Neal now looking for the same move as she fakes inside, goes back outside, and the move's not there that time for Dwyer Neal with four goals on the day for the Eagles. Stark now moving inside. Good pass uh, out into traffic. Well, it looks like a good pass, but it's controlled by O'Hara, and the Eagles will keep possession. DeFulvio on the far side to O'Sullivan and back behind to Dwyer Neal. Rogers with it. Sends it over to Stark on the near side. Back up top to O'Hara. She's met by two Maroons defenders. Flips it to Yashinsky. Yashinsky's pressured now. Suffocating defense here, but Yashinsky gets it off now to Stark, who will run at the Maroons defense, pushed out by Lewis, and edges back inside. Fakes a couple of shot just wide of the goal and out of play to be Bridgewater ball and the Maroons don't seem to agree but that is the call and the Eagles have the ball now Yashinsky behind Yashinsky now back to the Fulvio up top now it's O'Sullivan. 
Pass inside to O'Hara. Can't be controlled. And that one's picked up now by the Maroons, who will look to trim some of this lead down by three here with around 25 minutes left to play in this second half of action. It's Schweimer with it now, running in, trying to make something happen quickly for the Maroons. So far to this point, this is the biggest lead of the day as the Maroons have yet to not have an answer on the other end. Let's see if they can answer here. Attacking patiently, trying to cut into the three goal lead after two quick goals by Dwyer Neal in this second half of play to increase it to 8-5 for your hometown Eagles. And Bridgewater that much closer to securing that home playoff spot. A good pass intercepted. Good interception there by Parcell for the Eagles. And now it's staying with it for Bridgewater running down the sideline. Good pass, flips it to Rogers. And Rogers flips it back to Welsh. Now behind, it's Houts with it for the Eagles. Watch closely by Blankenship as it's reset now to Stark up top. Stark with two goals in the game. Hungry for more. Like always, Yashinsky now behind the net. She using her speed to try and create. Nothing doing. Good defense there. Stark is watched. And she will draw the foul. It's going to be a free position restart here from Kristen Stark on a tight angle. Not sure if she'll pass out of this one or try and make a move. And she heads towards goal and slipped in there by Stark. Good goal as uses the speed and slips it under the keeper for the Eagles. Now leading this one 9-5 in control. As the ball is loose and scooped up by the Maroons. In pursuit is Kayla O'Sullivan. Ball's flipped up top to Decker. Pass inside. Couldn't be controlled there. Maroons player thought she had it. Turned and fired with nothing but air in her net. And now, after a long run there by Parcell, ball's flipped, picked up by Abby Houts. And she is pushed out of bounds. Go the length of the field, and the ball is turned over now. Maroons pick it up. It's Shoutle behind the behind the goal now, walking out in front. Shoutle with three saves in that first half, giving up six. Ball is in the middle now. Watched by Bridgewater defense and now successfully cleared by the Maroons. It's Decker with it who flips it to a cutting. Schweimer pushed off it and she will receive a free position attempt. Will be. Sh Never mind. Actually, I guess it was an offensive infraction there as the Eagles will restart it. It's Michaela Brooks in net with the ball. We will find Kayla O'Sullivan, senior who leads the team in ground balls, draw controls, and cause turnover, has eclipsed one has eclipsed 100 career ground balls and draw controls this season for her Eagles career. Sullivan having a good year in her senior year for the Eagles as they control the ball now. In the Roanoke half, looking to add to their score. Already up by four goals here with 22 minutes to play in the second half as O'Hara spins in, loses the ball, 
but is fouled, which will result in a free position attempt now for Kayla O'Sullivan. Excuse me, for Anna O'Hara now. Free position attempt for Anna O'Hara looking for her second goal of the day. Kayla O'Sullivan already with one goal on the day. But Anna O'Hara now to take the free position shot. She fires into the top of the net for the goal. Good shot there by Sullivan. Another goal for Bridgewater here, and they're putting it on the Maroons here early in the second half, leading now by 10 to 5. The score of 10 to 5. Lewis now waiting for a cutter to arrive. As Armstrong does, collects it. And not enough space for the shot as she's watched closely by staying. Balls with Schweimer and now back to Lewis, who will wait for another available player to come as Lewis walks in and she's going to be fouled as this one will result in a free position attempt here for the Maroons. And if they can score this one, this game might get a little bit interesting here trying to trim the four goal deficit here 20 minutes left to play in the second half Bridgewater leads it that shot good save there by Brooks on a rebound those fired in good initial save from Brooke, from Brooks there but unable to stop the rebound fired in over the head and now the Maroons on the comeback not necessarily yet but on their way to making this one a little bit more interesting who start the attack again and the momentum has shifted here back in favor of Roanoke although they still do trail by three goals to an answer to now with the ball attacking again Bridgewater needs a stop here to shift the energy back to them as behind is Schweimer with it who sends it to the far side back up top to Armstrong who has been the life of the attack for the Roanoke College today, tallying four goals. Now inside is Decker. Watch closely. Good defense from Eagles. From the Eagles is flips it back to Armstrong, trying to use her speed to break free. Schweimer finds a pass inside. Can't be controlled by Polak. As that one didn't get in her stick, and that's the stop that the Eagles needed. Got to be careful to clear this one successfully, as I'm sure they will now. It's Kristen Stark running. She's being chased down and finally into the half, into the attacking half. Start going in alone now in a sea of Roanoke defenders. It's Rogers with it on the far side for Bridgewater. Now fires back. Shot. Good save there from Shoutle in net. That one fired low by Yashinsky, deflecting off to the near side and out of play. O'Hara will pick it up. Now to Stark. Up top, it's Yashinsky with it for the Eagles. Breaking in is Rogers. Watch closely. Back behind now to Stark. No, excuse me, to Houts for the Eagles. Turns the corner. Shot. Not going to make it through. But a foul is going to result in a free position attempt now for Abby Houts who is 0 of 1 on the day in these scenarios an important one here to stop the 2-0 run here from Roanoke good pass from O'Hara and point blank save good one there from Shoutle in net good play drawn up there by the Eagles as Everyone had her eyes on Houts, fired it over to O'Hara, but a great save there by Shuttle to Denier. And Ridgewater with possession now. It's Stark on the near side. Stark already with two goals, excuse me, three goals in the game. Tallying one in this half, two in the previous half. Bringing starts Stark's total of points on the year up to 45. Still in sole possession of the lead on the roster. Stark watched closely here. Good defense from Roanoke. Now Neal using the same move she's used all day. That one's fired wide. Neal uses that move where she just pops out in front of goal. 
Acts like she's going to be patient and then accelerates around the edge. And now Stark will try the same thing. Shot fired into the goal for Kristen Stark. That one, her fourth goal on the day. Tying Dwyer Neal on the day for leading in goals in conference play. As we're back underway here at Jobson Field. As your hometown Eagles lead this one by four goals. With about 16 and a half to play left in this one. Bridgewater looking to stretch it more and make this a little bit more comfortable here going towards the end of the game. Stress-free, trying to secure this win. As it's Yashinsky who fires one, but a whistle, so that one's going to count. That one from distance, Shadow can't be exactly happy about Allowing that one as Yashinsky shot that one from a decent ways out. And the onslaught from the Eagles in this second half continues. That well, Sullivan with a good touch goal earlier in the day. Abby Houts with the ball behind the net for Bridgewater. Leading this one in command by five goals. Would have to have some serious things occur. to drop this one as the experience and poise of the Eagles to be showed here now attacking still is Yashinsky scoring the last goal wouldn't be surprised if she has another one here and she will be fouled now awarded a free position attempt Yashinsky now trying to stretch this lead to six and make the Eagles even more comfortable put this one away here with about fifth, about half, half the, of the half left, half of the period left, 15 minutes, 15 and a half on the clock. Yashinsky lines up to take it, and she'll pull out, actually, and pass behind. Smart play there, as that was a tough angle. That went over to Dwyer Neal. Eagles won't be too upset to hold the ball, pass around, as the clock continues to burn. Broke. Celebrating, it looked like it is in the back of the goal. O'Hara with the goal. Roanoke now completely overwhelmed, trailing by six goals here, 15 left to play. And we're hearing as announcing saying through the stadium that is the 100th career goal for Anna O'Hara. Congratulations to Anna on that milestone and that achievement. O'Hara the junior from Fairfax, Virginia. The Eagles would have to absolutely implode to lose this one. Leading by six. Now it's Armstrong with it for the Maroons, their first attack after giving up three unanswered to the Eagles. Who lead by six in this one, completely in control and command. And a foul here is going to reward the Maroons with a free position attempt. Because of the dark jerseys and the numbers, I can't quite tell the player there on the far side of the field. Looking to cut any little bit off the lead. And that's how you got to start it. Be your mindset. As that one's fired into the goal, scored by Lewis. And if things don't change quick, they'll leave this one 5-6. and six. As we return to the action, ball pops loose and scooped up as the Maroons now on the attack again still down by five here about 14 to play in this second half it's been all Bridgewater this half if you're just joining us a close game through the first period 6-5 at the halftime score coming to this one the Eagles exploded for four goals unanswered to start the period and Maroons scoring a couple here and there, but nothing really making a dent so far in this five-goal lead for the Eagles as they 
are ahead 13 to 8 in complete control of this one. And Roanoke trying to attack now. Get something going and a foul on Polak is going to reward her with a free position attempt here from straight away center. Polak 3 of 5 from these scenarios on the year. Yellow card shown to number 22, Kayla O'Sullivan, the senior from Centerville, Virginia. That's her first card, yellow card of the game as Bridgewater will go down a man, and that one's fired by Polak too hard into the ground and over the net. Missed opportunity there. Now Lewis fires a shot and into the goal for Roanoke. That one's going to bring the lead now to four goals, 13-9. to nine. Your hometown Eagles still lead this one, still in control. Roanoke just hanging around a little bit, though, with that one. Now two unanswered for the Maroons. Still down by four, however, taking it a goal at a time. And that one's popped loose and controlled by O'Sullivan, who is fouled. And... Ball to be restarted here by Sullivan near midfield as the Eagles will look now to enter into the half of the Maroons. That previous goal for Roanoke scored by Maggie Lewis, her second on the day. Freshman from Draper, Utah, a far way out. After a foul, this one's going to be restarted here from Bridgewater. It's Abby Houts behind the net for the Eagles with the ball here. And aggressive defense there from Roanoke. Earns them a turnover. And back to Shoutle. Not good play there from the Eagles as that one was passed, was picked off red well there. From the Maroons, an errant, pan, an errant pass from Shadow though, bounces down the sideline and very fortunate to find Schweimer, who now breaks in to the attacking half. Really Armstrong there. Looked like she had some space, but Schweimer held on to it a little too long. And the Maroons now trying to go three unanswered after they've already scored two unanswered here. Trying to find a way back into this one. Just under 12 minutes left to play. Question is going to be, is there enough time? And this Eagles team is hard to break down in terms of defense. And if they get the ball, the chance, the possibility that they score is rather high for the Eagles. And now a free position shot due up for the Maroons. This one on a tight angle, so not sure if we'll see a shot here or a pass. But if they can find a way to get one here, and it is going to be a shot. That one bouncing on a tight angle and into the net. Three unanswered now for the Maroons is slowly edging their way back into this one. That one's going to make it 13-10 to 10 as after the first half of play. The score was 6-5. It has been close all game and much needed can Troll here by senior Kayla O'Sullivan. Now into the half of Roanoke. Sullivan still with it now to O'Hara on the near side, trying to make some offense of her own after a quick move. Flips it out to Stark. She'll run at the net. Yashinsky with the ball. She's watched closely. She, Yashinsky with the goal already on the day. Coming from about this distance right here. Eagles trying to be patient. And while all while they're doing this, trying to find a goal. 
Not going to mind. The, the clock continues to burn here as time winds down on the Maroons from Roanoke College in the midst of trying to mount a comeback here. Going to need good defense, however, as good offense comes from good defense. Because if you can get the stop here, and we're going to get a foul on Roanoke, which is going to award Yashinsky a free position throw from a promising position here. Not directly straight on, but pretty close to it here. As Yashinsky looking to increase the lead. That one's fired low, and Shoutle unable to get her stick down in time. Goal for Bridgewater. Much needed here to make it 14 to 10 in favor of your hometown Eagles restoring a bit of that lead back up to four. Shot will be a little bit disappointed with herself. She didn't get to that one as that one's fired right through her legs and just couldn't get to stick down in time. There. Back to Schweimer. Schweimer with it behind. Now over to Pollock. Pollock watched closely and fiercely by Grace Stang, press a freshman defenseman for the Eagles. Now it's Schweimer looking to make a move. And she'll not have the space as she tries to go towards the middle here on this near side. And gives it away there cheaply from Schweimer. On the defensive end, we had Michaela Brooks in cage and Mackenzie Parcell, um, who had four cause turnovers. And Michaela Brooks kept our defensive end really strong, motivated, and ready to go so that we could play strong D and transition the ball all the way to the attacking end in order to score our 15 goals. 14 in their last game total. And 14 here now with eight and a half to play already up on the board for the Eagles. Offense has been working. That one's off the pipe from Rogers, And scooped up and... A pass right into pressure from Shadow sees Kristen Stark intercept it. Poor play there from the Maroons, and there's got it's got to be better decision making there from as Bridgewater leads it by three with two minutes and counting. They also may retain possession of the ball up top. With it is Kristen Stark, who's had a great day with four goals and an assist, moving her points total to 45 on the year. Excuse me, 46 after today's game. Stark has done a good job leading her team. Today also Dwyer Neal with four goals on the day. Kristen Stark maintaining the points total leader for the season on the roster. Close behind is Dwyer Neal. About six points behind her. And Stark restarts this one. Flips it over to Yashinsky, who's got a couple goals on the day. Sent back behind to Houts. She'll power in, and with that one, that should all but do it. That one's sent into the net by Houts. Uses her speed to get around the corner and fires it in from close range. Good goal there from Abby Houts, the freshman from State College, Pennsylvania. Good goal there, and that will do it here. That's the nail in the coffin for the Eagles. 15-11 the score, a minute and 11 left on the clock. No way back now for the Maroons. Unless we see a miracle, which with this team, this good team of the Eagles, very unlikely to happen. And now this one looking like it's going to fall. Going to bring the Maroons to 5-6 and six on the year, most likely with a minute to go and courtesy of the second half from Bridgewater to give this this game this 15-11 scoreline gotta give a lot of credit to the Eagles and whatever kind of halftime talk or whatever they had as they came out firing in the second exploding Only scoring six goals. That one scooped up by 
Michaela Brooks. That'll do it here as Bridgewater wins this one. Your final score here at Jobson Field under the lights. 15 to 11 in favor of your hometown Eagles. The story of this one, really, that beginning of that second half where the Eagles exploded for four unanswered to pull away, making it a five-goal lead. And the Maroons from Roanoke never really able to get back into it. A couple runs, but... Bridgewater staying resilient now improved to 8-2 and two on the season and an all-important ODAC win for them improves going to move them up to 2-1 and one in the ODAC on the year 2018 was a great year for the Bridgewater Women's Cross program we were nationally ranked for the first time in the U.S. Lacrosse Nike poll um, after we beat CNU and we had 11 wins for the season. We went four and four in conference and were able to make it to the ODAC tournament. That'll do it for us here. Leading goal scorers on the day, Ellie Armstrong with four for the visitors. Dwyer Neal and Kristen Stark both tallying four goals apiece while Kristen Stark leads it with two assists, improving her goals tally, her points tally to 47 on the year. Dwyer Neal now the outright goals leader with 34.